My talk focused on the role of cellular therapies for the treatment of T-cell malignancies. And this has been historically a difficult problem because uh, many of the targets that one would pursue on T-cell malignancies are also on T-cells. And so if you developed uh, things like chimeric antigen receptor um, T-cells for T-cell malignancies, they would uh, actually end up killing themselves or inducing fratricide because the target is both on the normal effector T-cell and, and on the T-cell malignancy. So to get around that, we thought that it would be reasonable to um, first target a very highly expressed and universally expressed antigen on T-cell ALL and T-cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And initially we chose CD7. Um, and then the second is that we had to get rid of that target on the effector T-cell population. So we did that through a process called CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing. And um, we were able to do this very efficiently, but that still um, leaves us with one major problem, and that is that using uh, T-cells, normal T-cells from a patient with a T-cell ALL, for instance, will still, um, it's going to be very difficult to separate the T-cell malignancy from the uh, T-cells. And so it's going to inevitably result in contamination of the normal T-cells that you're going to use for the CAR-T and the gene editing uh, being contaminated with malignant T-cells. So to get around that, uh, one can use T-cells from another individual, an off-the-shelf allogeneic product. But then you're dealing with the risk of graft versus host disease. So to get around that, we developed um, multiplexed assays to delete both the uh, CD7 target and um, the T cell receptor alpha subunit, which would disable the ability of a T cell to recognize the host as non self. So we can use anyone's T cells to target um, a T cell malignancy. So in, th in this regard, these are called universal CAR Ts because they have the T cell receptor deleted and they, and they can be used from anyone to target um, any malignancy. And we also deleted the CD7 molecule and put a CAR to CD7 into these cells so that we had, a in the end, an allogeneic uh, product, off-the-shelf, universal CAR-T, which has both the T-cell receptor alpha subunit deleted and the CD7 deleted. And then we put a CAR into them targeting CD7 and showed in uh, in vitro preclinical and in preclinical models that this was a very efficient and effective way to eliminate T-cell malignancies in um, preclinical mouse models. And this is being now extended into the clinic. And I gave a number of examples where, um, uh, number one, uh, um, uh, there's other groups, to, uh, one or two other groups in the world who are pursuing this in the academic setting. And then um, several companies, uh, Wujen, Grassell, uh, for two, that are pursuing this uh, in the commercial sector and will have products that will be in the clinic either presently or in the very near future.